So hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, this is Nicolette. You might remember her from other videos such as the Volvo S60 inscription. Yes. Alfa Romeo Julia, Julia. Quadrifoglio, <laughs> where she gave a beautiful description of what the four leaf clover meant. Mm -hmm. Although she can't recite I can't it today. can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> so each time I put you in a video, I get admonished by my, my viewers. Mm. They're like, you haven't given her a proper introduction. She just appears in the video. Yes. So I thought today I would do this. You're doing so this. So who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Nicolette. How are you? I'm a BMW girl, so this yeah. is a little, you know, expanding my horizons when it comes to I cars. pretty much call you in for the Italian cars. You do, yeah. I and am Italian. And then the ones built in China, like the Volvo. The Volvo, yeah. which I now love Volvos. That's true, Sorry. she does. <laughs> so yeah, we, uh, Nicolette worked in TV, and I worked in local TV, and then we started playing in a basketball league together of other TV people. She was pretty good. She tackled me to the ground once. <laughs> Intentionally. Ow! <laughs> so, so anyway, so this is Nicolette and uh, she's going to be in the video today and she will be appearing in some other videos sometime soon, hopefully. Yeah, I hope so. Cool. All right. Bye. The all new Stelvio has already made a name for itself as a driver's SUV and at a price point that's far more affordable than you would think with a starting MSRP of about $43,000. So when shopping Alphas for sport utility, one might wonder why one model costs almost twice as much. Hi, I'm Steve Hammes. And I'm Nicolette Viscusi, and this is the Stelvio Quadrifolio. There are a number of these crazy fast SUVs on the market right now, and I've driven most of them. Like this Stelvio, the vast majority are based upon car, not truck architectures, and benefit from modern chassis tuning techniques to deliver a taller five-door vehicle that's truly track ready. Better yet, contemporary engineering prowess allows you to have your cake and eat it too, so to speak. With 500 plus horsepower engines that still deliver 23 mpg highway, and the Italians are suddenly all in. Besides this souped up Alfa, Maserati, Lamborghini, and soon Ferrari will all have at least one high performance SUV in their stables. Priced from around 80,000, this Stelvio gets a Ferrari heart transplant, a screaming 2.9 liter turbocharged V6 capable of 505 horsepower. It's the same motor in the Giulia, which I test drove last year, so I can attest to its uniquely punchy Italian personality. Marked with a four-leaf clover, the Stelvio Quadrifoglio is billed as the world's fastest SUV. Having claimed that title after lapping the famed Nürburgring racetrack in record time. With very direct steering and a paddle shifted eight speed automatic transmission, this Stelvio reaches 60 miles per hour in only 3.6 seconds, with a top speed of 176 miles per hour. And the Alpha DNA selector, short for dynamic, natural, and advanced efficiency, adds a race mode to further tune the adaptive suspension for pinpoint control. Torque vectoring, 20 inch wheels, six piston Brembo front brakes, and a lightweight carbon fiber drive shaft all aid in keeping this Quadrifoglio glued to the road. The Q4 all wheel drive system can transfer up to 60% of the engine's torque to the front axle. And when you're dealing with 443 pound feet of torque in a lightweight body, that added traction is certainly welcome. This Stelvio turns into a curve with exceptional sharpness and the adjustable suspension can be set for extreme firmness. And as an everyday driver, the Quadrifoglio's ride is sufficiently supple when set to its natural setting, but even then, impact harshness can be jarring, so take extra caution to avoid those potholes. But when driven for fun, the sport seats with their adjustable lateral support are a perfect match for keeping you firmly in place, allowing you to comfortably explore the engine's eagerness with the huge column-mounted paddle shifters. And those shifts are fast and accompanied by gunshot-like firing sounds with each tick. 
The exhaust music is so mischievous and yet unobtrusive when simply cruising. Just like the Julia, this Stelvio feels vivacious, light, and shockingly agile. You're just sitting up higher. Concerning turbo lag, there is a touch of that, but then it's hang on time because you are going for a ride. This is an extremely fun car to get behind the wheel of. It's a smooth ride, it's got a rocket panoramic sunroof, and that exhaust makes this guy a head turner. But for this sticker, I'd expect some finesses such as a quieter cabin, more room in the second row, and when you're truly Italian and little like me, limited visibility out of the rear window is not ideal. Compared with the GLC 63 I recently tested, the Stelvio feels far more rudimentary. It's also a little sparse in the cabin. It doesn't really come close to matching the Stelvio's big price tag. It's also short on luxury goodies and could use a little more room out back. I also wish it had more of a distinguished appearance. However, from the driver's seat, this thing is unbeatable. Classified as a midsize, the Stelvio seems a little more compact, yet displays a nicely cut cargo area that can gobble up more than you'd expect. And I have no problem fitting in the rear seats, even without adjustability. There are a couple of USB ports back here, but no separate climate controls or any other kind of luxury car accoutrements to speak of. And with an as-tested price of 94935 that's part of the problem. Look around here and you'll ask yourself, where's all the stuff? The infotainment system is okay with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, as is the Harman Kardon premium audio system. But for this price, I want more than just okay. The carbon ceramic brakes are really grabby for daily driving, and they add about $8,000 to the cost. So unless you have racetrack aspirations, I'd leave them off. They also make up the better portion of the $12,000 in options on this test car, which checks in at just over $94,000. So would you want one? Heck yeah, wouldn't you? Let's see. MSRP of about $43,000. It's, right. it's all right. Hey, you had it though. That was good timing. <laughs> Grabby. Okay, three, two, one. The carbon ceramic brakes are really grabby for in around the town. Lance, your driving scares me. Someone get a shot of this. Quadrifolio is billed as the world's fastest SUV, having claimed that title after lapping. So would you want one? Heck yeah. Would you? This is not mine. <laughs> <laughs> this is a different joke every 